Choosing the right color for your walls is a big decision. It has to match your furniture, decor, style, floors, and other rooms in the home. And you don't want to put all that effort into painting only to realize you chose wrong. So, how can we make this decision easier for you? How about with tips from the experts, Andrea on color and Dee on design? There are two concepts to consider when you're choosing a paint color for your room. One, you may have a blank palette to work with, meaning you have no furniture, fabric, or wallpaper in the room. In that case, you can choose any color that meets your needs. You may choose off-white, beiges, or blues. But most of us don't have that luxury. We have fabric, wallpaper, and window treatments, so when you're selecting a color, you need to make sure that that wall color best ties it all together and makes the room feel cohesive and usable. Next, you want to keep a consistent color palette if your rooms are open and connected. If you have a long room or irregular walls, paint a cool color on the long wall and a warm color on the narrow walls to make the room more balanced. Once you've decided on a color scheme for your design project, a helpful tool like the Pittsburgh Paints Voice of Color program has some great innovative color tools. The Harmony chips are five color combinations on a single chip that pull not just the wall color in, but the fabric and flooring and tile and bedding. These are great starting points because these Harmony chips were selected by trend forecasters for colors that we're seeing in the textile market. Then take those samples and colors that you like and then test them on your own walls with your own lighting against your own furniture and your own window treatments. Do not, however, hold them up against a white wall. Instead, put them next to your furniture, window treatments and cabinets to see how the color reacts because that's how the painted wall will be once the project's finished. And also, test in various light conditions throughout the day because light changes the way color looks and sometimes even a beige can look pink in the evening light. So you want to be sure you got just the perfect color. Once you've decided on the color, a popular decorative technique is to use tone-on-tone -tone coloring or layering. This takes a single or a few colors and uses a different saturation of each. You can dramatically transform a room by just lightening or darkening the shade. Now color doesn't always have to be colorful, but white should always be intentional and not used as a default color. To help make your decision easier when choosing the perfect white, use a tool like the PPG Voice of Color Whites card to help you choose between pure, tinted, creamy, or refined whites because those are definitely different colors. If you're looking for an area in your house to really let personality and color make an impact, powder rooms are the perfect place. Experiment with reds and blacks and dark grays and even a sharp pink to make a statement and have some fun. For more color and design tips, or to find inspiration for your own home, visit voiceofcolor.com.